Well, today Clevelanders are getting the first look at how Lorraine Avenue could be a better place to walk or even ride a bike. The city is releasing a few different design options for a rehabilitation project along that main road. News 5's Kevin Barry has new details about what is just the latest in a long line of projects connecting Cleveland's west side. A few minutes along Lorraine Avenue make two things clear. There are a lot of interesting places to visit. But it can be uncomfortable because of how quickly and how close the sidewalk is to moving traffic. Annie Pease hopes that a new design along Lorraine Avenue can change that. The city of Cleveland is looking for feedback on a few different options, ranging all the way from a dedicated cycle track along the sidewalk, protected from cars, down to smaller bike lane upgrades. Annie says she's normally pretty comfortable riding with traffic, but usually not on Lorraine. I often choose a different route because Riding on Lorraine, the cars are moving faster. It's stressful. There's actually already $10 million set aside to install a cycle track on some parts of Lorraine Avenue. The city wants your feedback on these plans released today. Cleveland Traffic Commissioner Rob Mavick says the city is researching options that are cheaper than a dedicated cycle track. The funding may fall short at this point, so that's why we're trying to present different options that may actually accomplish that separated bike facility um, maybe in a different manner, but still a separated bike facility. Lorraine Avenue is just the latest project to better connect the west side. The Red Line Greenway just opened, linking the flats to West 65th Street. The Whiskey Island Connector and Wendy Park Bridge should be open later this summer, and Franklin Boulevard is due for its own upgrade as early as next year. As we look at what is happening in Ohio City today, uh, I think that the, the cycle track is absolutely more important now than it was when it was first envisioned. Ohio City Incorporated's Tom McNair Nair says that's because more projects like those add value to the whole region when it's easier for pedestrians or cyclists to get around without a car. McNair says private developers are already staking their claim with new projects in the neighborhood and hundreds of millions of dollars in federal COVID relief and infrastructure funding means there could suddenly be money for projects along Lorraine, Irish Town Bend, and the Midway cycle track that would connect much of the east side too. And I think that this is almost a once in a generation opportunity uh, with the type of funding streams that are in front of us right now. McNair says these massive investments would pay off 10 or $20 at a time through the increased business better connected residents like Annie would bring. Certainly the more walkable the neighborhood becomes, um, the more bikeable it becomes, um, the better and better the neighborhood will be. In Cleveland, I'm Kevin Barry, News 5.